Gulf Peninsula brown bear hunting day one. It's cold and it's like 30 degrees. The wind's blowing, but we've seen a couple, a couple nice bears. We've seen um, just caught a glimpse of a of a really good bear, and uh, we've seen a couple other bears that have been moving in and out of these tides. So right now we're just gonna wait. We're hunting with the bow, so we gotta wait for the right opportunity. But it's always good to see some see some bears wandering around because that's what we're looking to hunt. So but yeah, it's cold. It's blowing about 25. And it's a, what you'd expect for a peninsula, October peninsula hunt. It's awesome. quite a ways away the tide's not working with us right now so we're gonna kind of wait and see what he does and keep getting a good a good look at it um, we're just kind of waiting the wind's not very good and the tide's not very good so we just gotta kind of wait that's bow hunting bow hunting big bears so but it looks like a pretty good bear nice color nice hide so we'll see what happens Occupied, looking to get some food that's been washed up. So it's a good bear to put a stock on. We're about 750 yards from this bear, and the wind is just swirling really, really badly. Um, I don't want to commit any closer. I don't know what the wind's doing where he is, but there's just no trying to anticipate what, what's going to happen. So we're just going to sit here and wait for the tide to go out and maybe the wind to change for us to make a move. So that's just bow hunting. That's, that's how you have to do it. Don't really want to push this bear out of the country uh, before we get a shot. So that's where we're at.
decision to turn around. We were in a pretty good position to ambush that bear. Um, the wind just kept, was so inconsistent, it was so bad. We actually got to 150 yards of that bear and uh, it just wasn't right. I mean, it's, it's a lot has to happen, a lot has to go right to, to take one of these bears with a bow. So we just decided to back all the way out. We're back to our glassing spot, back by camp. We can still see this big bear. We're just waiting for conditions to change because unless that happens, it's just a, it's a futile effort. So if it was a rifle hunt, it would have been done a long time ago. That's why bow hunting is special. We're just gonna play it by ear. We're gonna make the, the best decisions we can to try to get within bow range, so. picking up so we're gonna go try it again there's Nathan Will and then the bears way over there so we're gonna see what happens if the wind's still bad we're gonna pull out um, try to keep the bear in the area and uh, if it's good we're gonna try to kill him so
Well, we got inside 100 yards. We got about 70 yards from him, and the wind is just swirling and swirling and swirling and just did not give us the longest window to get inside before he smelled us. So he caught a little bit of our wind and just kind of walked off into this thick alder patch, so we're going to leave him alone. We're not going to try to chase him. And um, Got inside. Got inside 100 yards, got about 70 yards from him, and that's pretty much all you can do. So it's just little things like that that make bow hunting really, really fun and really, really difficult. So we're going to keep after it and maybe find him again or find a different bear. So All right, wind's blowing like crazy. We've got a bear close. We're going to try to make a run for it. It's the first thing, first light.
we had a close call this morning. Um, a bear was on the beach at, before the before first light, and uh, we were watching it at about 70 yards. And then we caught another bear coming. Couldn't get a very good look at it till it was about 200 yards away, but it came in to be a, a pretty good sized boar. And it looked like it was gonna come in at like 40, 50 yards, like along, along the kelp beds, but it started chasing the, the, the smaller bear, it ran, and then it started chasing it, and it never got closer than, it started running like 130 yards away. About 70, it never got closer than 70 yards, it never really stopped moving. So that's just brown bear hunting right there. Never know what these bears are gonna do. It looked like it was gonna come in perfect and start running. So hopefully we'll find it or something else bigger again. Alright, we're going back in today. Um, seen some more bears. Uh, gonna go try to stalk over where they see, you see them come out at low tide. So we're gonna kind of go out. Tide is uh, falling right now, but it's still pretty high. So we're gonna try to get out to a spot where we'll be in a good position when the tide gets up. And it's still crazy, so not the most ideal conditions, but we're gonna make the most of it.
43 yards away from this bear. And we were kind of on the edge of whether we were to shoot or try to let him get closer. And he just walked off, so we never bumped him. He never winded us. He just walked up the hill. So we're just going to keep after it, keep grinding it out. Um, seems like every day we're just getting closer and closer to making this happen. So that's what bow hunting is all about. Don't give it, never giving up hope and just keep grinding it out. Um, and good things will happen. So we're going to keep after it. Bears are still moving. It's a good day today. So hopefully we'll make it happen. Bear's already down. Let's wait until he makes it. Good shot, dude. Way to make it happen. Oh, was he? This one right here. Hold on that rock right there. Red carpet. Nice. After a lot of stalks and a lot of bad wind and bears doing whatever bears do, wandering around, uh, we finally made it happen. We'll put a perfect shot on this. Nice bear at 20 yards and it ran another 150 yards and piled up. So we're super stoked, love archery hunting. Bow hunting is all about grinding it out and never giving up. So this is what it's all about. An awesome place to hunt in the Alaska Peninsula, little beach vacation. All right, well that pretty much wraps up our hunt here. Had a really, really good hunt. Um, had lots of stalks and lots of chances getting in close on, on these big brown bears. And you know, it's hunting and it's especially it's bow hunting. We, we got in close a few times and bears turned and walked away and there's just so, so little room for error that, uh, you know, that's what makes bow hunting so special when it does come together. And finally, um, something did come together. We had a bear and got him into 20 yards, perfectly broadside and Will made a perfect shot, just double lunged him right dead center. So it was great. Bear died very quickly. He was a very ethical and quick harvest of this bear and uh yeah can't ask for anything better um, yeah got the bear skinned out got it quartered and uh all the meat off of it we're gonna pack it out and 
yeah it's it's a good hunt hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh seeing our attempts and you know what it's really like this is a real deal um you know we don't have a camera crew out here we're just trying to show it like it actually happens in in the moment so i appreciate you guys thanks for watching